You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a familiar face with me, Newby Ratto, uh, Director of Communications for the Mayor's Office. Newby, good to see you. All right, thanks for having me here. Um, we're talking summer, finally, after all the winter snows and the mess we had. Right, right. Now it's summer mode. It's, uh, temperatures have been good, and you guys got a lot of things planned in the Mayor's Office here in the City of Champions. Uh, I guess uh, we're getting close to what's called summer solstice. Yes, the summer solstice. I, you know, this is really one of my favorite, you know, months of the year. I mean, you know, there's so many events going on in, in the city, particularly coming from the mayor's office. It's just a fun time. But um, to kick it off, um, remember a couple of years ago, those the summer solstice, um, it took a little hiatus. Um, we brought it back last year. Um, this year, um, last year was over at the Arnold School. This year, we're bringing it back uh, to East Junior High. You know, let's bring an event back to East Side of Brockton. And what it is, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a community cookout, okay? At the end of the day, it's a community cookout for kids. And it's really kind of like the unofficial start to Brockton After Dark, really. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and getting uh, the kids together and really send the message that, you know, we want a, a positive, peaceful summer. Um, and so it's an opportunity. You know, we have, we have live music. We have a, a, excuse me, a DJ. Um, games full of crap museums going to provide um, arts and crafts. We have caricatures um, doing pictures f for kids and so forth. It's just a real chill atmosphere to kind of bring everyone together to kick off that, you know what, we're going to have a positive it's a statement. We're going to have a positive, safe summer in the city of Rockton. What is it? Think, stop. Let, stop, let, think, let it go. There we go. I was close. Yeah. Didn't get it quite right. So it's on June 26th. Mm -hmm. Time? June 26th. It's going to be um, East Junior High from 3 to 7. 3 to 7. And we're, um, the food is going to be by, you know, uh, Lady uh, J Soul Food. You oh. know, they, they, they you know, one of the best soul food That's what right I heard. here in the South Shore. So, um, you know, they, they do a fantastic job. So um, they're going to be hooking us up with, with the burgers and so forth. And then... Um, and uh, DJ Nuno will be doing the DJing for us, who's done you know, multiple city events. And, you know, we just want to bring people together. You know, there's been a lot of, you know, you know, crap in the news about, you know, negative stuff and so forth. We just want to have a positive event for the city that, you know, really promotes peace. And I mean, really sends a statement for the, for the remainder of the summer. And that's the last day of school. So it's exactly. appropriate. So there you go. Start the summer off right. Then we switch into July. Okay, July and August. Okay, Mayor's Summer Concert Series started under Mayor Units, Mayor mm -hmm. Harrington, Mayor Belzardi, now Mayor Carpenter. Okay, what's the, and you're doing it in different places. It's been traditionally at Heights Crossing. I know you guys mixed it up a little bit last year right. and had it in some of the parks. There's another concert series you're going to do like that. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, City Hall Plaza is going to be ready soon. So from what I understand, some of it's at Heights, some of it's at City Hall Plaza? Yes, first and foremost, I just want to do a major, major thank, thank you to the Mass, uh, Massachusetts Cultural Council. You know, they, they provide a lot of the funding for uh, the summer concert series. So, you know, not one dime comes of, of uh, you know, the, the people's pocket. So that comes from grant money. Um, and half of it's going to be over at Heights Crossing. Um, and it's going to start July 9th. And it's going to be every Thursday from July 9th all the way through August 27th. And it's going to alternate. So it'll be um, Heights Crossing one week. And then the next week it will be over at the new City Hall Plaza, uh, which it will be the first concert, actually, at City Hall Plaza, if you if driving by City Hall, it's finally coming together. It's looking great. I was actually uh, walking by today. I mean, they put in the trees and, and the uh, and the soil and everything, so it's, it's coming together real good. So I think it's going to be a great atmosphere right in the center of the city. Mm -hmm. Four concerts, um, and then you know Heights Cross has been so great to us. You know, for I mean, the last umpteenth years. I mean, they goes, been... goes back to Mayor Units, like I said. Yeah. So Thursday, six to eight. Right. Okay. And the first one is good old Billy Kudo, Billy Kudo. who is a, a legend. Exactly. Uh, the seniors love him. Right. Okay. That one's at Heights Crossing. So what yeah. happens after that? After that, it's going to be Electra Two Twenty Five. Um, they haven't performed in a while for the summer concerts, but they're known to Brockton, the local band. Uh, we have the Corvairs, uh regular. Uh, just two guys who haven't performed in a few in a few years. Uh, Jive a Jive, one of the, one of my personal favorite bands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they do a great job. A new band called Soul Intensity, um, and you know just different genres of music, little old school, little R and B. Um, we have uh, Bernie Hassan and the R and C R R and B uh, Mudslide Band, formerly known as the, as the Cavaliers. Right. And then we have a, a a new band, another one called Shorty Got the Blues, That's all blues music. And get this, the uh, singer used to perform with BB King. Well, there you go. So you couldn't have better, and it's all free. Yes. There's no, there's no cost. Again, you said the cultural council sponsors it. You, you get get that grant money. Um, the the nice thing about it is you see people of all ages there. Even though it's at Heights Crossing, you don't have just your senior citizen crowd. You have people that just right. decide that they're going to come out. But the city hall addition to it, 
that plaza looks like it's going to be spectacular once it's it's done. We, I mean, we had all the winter blues, so to speak, that right, we had, right, right. but now it's it's you know you can see it coming into fruition, and I think it's going to be a great place. You know, I was, um, I was taking a look at the calendar for the summer events. Between the end of June and the Labor Day weekend, there's about 26 events in the city, something every week for you know all ages whether you know uh you know a concert whether for a senior citizen someone who's younger obviously it's brought down to dark the mayor's park program i mean i mean you really got action packed you know summer to, summer 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 fest, summer fest in august you got the cape verdean festival right. happening at the end of july something for everybody it's really if everybody says there's nothing to do in brockton they're crazy right i mean this is literally something every single week every single weekend i mean at least one maybe two sometimes even three events that going on, you know, whether it's a concert or so forth. So it's an exciting time to, to be here in Brockton. I mean, really excited about the summer concert series. And, um, you know, one thing I just want to preview a little bit, and we could talk more about it later, is um, we're going to have Sunday concerts. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Sunday concerts as we did uh, last year. This year it's going to be every week starting in July, um, for the exception of the Cape Verdean Festival. Right. Um, it's going to be every Sunday from 4 to 6, and these are different bands. But mm -hmm. the difference is it's going to be in different parks. Right in different neighborhoods. So there's been an initiative for the last couple of years to right. redo the parks. There's new parks and there's old parks that were being brought back kind of from the dead, if you really right. think about it. Um, do you use any volunteers for any of this stuff, like the summer solstice? I know in the past it's kind of been a volunteer activity. Uh, that day, I, I have a feeling Ollie's going to be there, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, he, 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 loves, uh, he loves a good cookout. Absolutely. I mean, it's, as, you know, it's east side of Broughton. That's, you know, that's where he's from. But um, I think... Um, you know, in terms of volunteers, what we do need help is resource tables. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you have, you know, uh, nonprofit, yeah, not a nonprofit or something you want to promote that can, you know, help out the city, definitely um, would love to have you there. We'll provide the tables and the chairs, okay, um, for you. So you know, it's, so if anyone you know has a nonprofit or, um, that wants to, you know, promote a different program activity that can help out the residents, we'd love to have you. And all of this stuff is on the city website, so you can go to the calendar of events, and you have special pages, and people can find out when when, when it is. We'll promote it Absolutely. on Greater Brockton. That's why we're here. We're going to cover it, but it's not an excuse to not go. You're better off going there. Absolutely. Because we show the concert. We also show the people having a good time, too. But you, the only way you can enjoy it to its fullest is to go there. And Absolutely. it doesn't cost anything. Absolutely. So, so we, why have, we have it on the city Facebook page, the city of Brockton. Um, Facebook page, obviously the Broughton website, cityofbroughton.com or broughton.ma.us. And then you can call our office and ask for me, 508-580-7123. Uh, ask for Newbie, or you can call my office mobile, which is 508-468-9430. Um, definitely give me a call on, on there, and you know I'll be happy to answer any questions. Perfect, Newbie. We'll uh, check with you on the other one. we got a preview that there's Sunday concerts too, and we'll, we'll get all the good stuff that's going on in the city of Broughton. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being on. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.